Okay, so here we go on to uh, fertilisation proper. So after the pollen tube has grown down, so it's digested its way down through the uh, style, it digests itself around through the ovary, and it's actually going to enter the embryo sac via the micropyle. And this is a little gap in the integument, so uh, that's the way in. And the female gamete is actually down right, down right by the micropyle. Now sometimes you'll see this uh, drawn as though that's in a sort of a gap, but it's quite important to remember that it's going to digest its way through the style and round, round to the bottom and then sort of go in to the micropyle. So don't be sort of, you know, just trying to draw a straight line down to the main event. So what happens when it gets down there? So when it um, gets down to the female gamete, so I'm just going to draw the female gamete in there with its synergids, its antipodal cells, and then we've got these two polar nuclei here. And this is the female gamete. So, remember that we've got the tube nucleus, so I'm going to draw my little pollen tube, you'll have to imagine the rest of it, it's too short to be drawing too many double lines. So we've got the tube nucleus, its job, remember, was to sort of trigger all those events to make the pollen tube grow down from the stigma all the way down through the style, sort of controlling the protein synthesis for the enzymes, presumably. And we had a generative nucleus. Now, plants do this really odd thing called double fertilisation. So this one is going to divide by mitosis so that we get two sperm nuclei. So these are the male gametes proper. <coughs> So that by the time we get down to do the fertilisation, we've got these two sperm nuclei. So, one of them directly fertilises the female gamete. So those two nuclei fused together, that is what fertilisation is, the fusion of the two nuclei. And that will then develop into the zygote, which will make the embryo. So this is fertilisation. So post-fertilisation, this is the thing, uh, I can't spell fertilisation, that's the thing that's going to make um, the baby plant. So that is going to then, you know, germination going to develop into a seedling. And the other one goes and fertilises the polar nuclei. So this is going to fuse, we've got here fusion of three N nuclei. So it's going to make a triploid cell. So we've got one fertilisation event, and an N, a haploid nucleus, haploid nucleus giving a diploid zygote. And we've got the, this big cell in the middle with two nuclei in it being fertilised by another one to make a triploid cell. Now that cell is going to make what's called the endosperm. Now it doesn't always stay uh, completely as endosperm in any seedling. It's basically a food store, cells jam-packed full of... Mm, what are we expecting? Starch, possibly, uh, protein, and that's going to nourish this developing embryo. Occasionally some of that endosperm gets absorbed into structures called cotyledons, uh, which are sort of, uh, we sort of call those seed leaves. So, double fertilisation, 
one fertilisation of the polar nuclei, one of the female gamete, two fertilisations. Female gamete gives a diploid zygote which goes on to develop into an embryo. Polar nuclei, triploid cells make the endosperm, which is a food store of starch or protein, sometimes gets absorbed into cotyledons or seed leaves. Not that difficult.